Hi guys, welcome at Creative Tutorials. My name is Jelge and in this Photoshop tutorial I'm going to show how easy it actually is to uh, remove the background from um, a complex object like this, these trees. When you look at this you say, okay, that's impossible. How the hell can you remove the background from an image like that? It is hard with hair, uh, it's hard with most of the things, but with all these small branches and stuff like that, it's, it's basically impossible. Well. It would be impossible if you are using the selection tool, uh, the, the scissor tool or whatever tools you would be using normally. Even with the refine edge tool, uh, which is a great tool for hair, this is very hard to accomplish. So what are we going to do? Well, basically uh, Photoshop did make an option already or has an option already made by Adobe um, to erase this background. And a lot of people don't know about it, but it is behind the eraser tool, there's the background eraser tool. And the background eraser tool, well, as the name uh, says, it is uh, to erase the background. If you uh, select the background eraser tool, you see the options here. This is, of course, about your brush. Make sure it's 100%. Then you have the sampling continuous tool, the sampling once tool and the sampling background swatch tool. The last one we will not be using. Most of the cases you will be using the sampling once or the sampling continues. Limits. You will be using discontinuous or continuous. Find edges, not in this case. Sometimes for other things, but not for removing the background like this. The tolerance, well, you know, the higher the tolerance, the more you erase, the lower the tolerance, um, the less you erase. And then the protect foreground color, um, that's also very handy, but we will show that or we will come to that later on. Good. Let's see what it does exactly in a very easy sample. And that's blue and red square. Um, well, together it's a square. Anyway, we have the continue selected and a continue selected on the image. And now you click somewhere in the blue, wherever you want. and the cross will pick up the color that needs to be erased. So if you go over this edge, it will not erase the red part. Great. However, with this option selected, if the cross goes over the red part, it will select this as the color that needs to be erased. So it will be erasing this as well. And that's exactly what you don't want to happen. So what will we be doing? We will choose an other option and that's the sampling ones. And if you choose the sampling once, and let's go a bit smaller with the brush, you know, that's the square brackets to open it or to close it, uh, and those will make it smaller or bigger. Um, and we keep it on continuous in this example. Click somewhere with the mouse again, and there you have it. It removes uh, the blue parts, but not the red parts. However, when you look at this closely, you see, hey, the cross is I never released and the, it's still blue. But when the cross is not on the blue, it doesn't erase the blue part. Uh, that's not always as handy as it should be. So what if we choose discontinuous and then we try again. And now you see, even if the cross is not on the blue part, it still erases uh, the blue areas and of course the red nothing happens good now let's try it on the image itself again uh, start with the continues uh, and the continues here well basically what it does is as we already uh, know it removes the blue great really nice as fast as it works however if we do this and we go over the branches that um the color is influenced as well and we don't want that so go back to the open part and start over and the tolerance well maybe a bit higher anyway put it on uh, i don't know 80 well 81 who cares uh, another problem this uh the limits on continuous and the continuous sample has is well if i click in this kind of areas then Photoshop says hey that area he selects is surrounded by a darker area so I'm not gonna color 
the entire circle I'm going to color the uh, part he clicked in and that's not what we want either so we have to choose another option and we're going to choose the sampling once option and of course because we want to uh, not only sample uh, the parts the cross is over because then it's not always on blue so it won't be removing all the the blue background we choose discontinues there you go yes erase 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 and look what's happening isn't that great and it's so little work and it would be a nightmare to do if you try it on another way and now everything stays on its place however there's still a little problem and that's where the protect foreground color comes in and we will show that in the other uh, document the winter tree i have it ready if we start erasing the blue parts here you see the grass is also influenced by it because that color comes too close near the allowed color uh, we allow to erase well you can uh, of course change the tolerance but there's another way to do it now let's see uh, if what we did actually is really as effective as we say it is or as we think it is make sure you're in that layer take the bucket with orange change the layers and there you have it and look all the blue in the background is uh, gone and the branches are still very visible and it's still looking great however here is the problem we have to take care of uh, and for that we have this other image the winter tree now this looks even more impossible because not only uh, the tree has a lot of branches and small areas and to be removed from the background but also it has snow on top and snow is really close to the color of the background so that would be a disaster to uh, to select on whatever way you do it normally besides here we have mountains and the mountains have some light tints on it and the snow so um, does we or are we able to do this and yeah sure we are we just select the protect foreground color uh, the tolerance will be a bit lower here let's say 55 of uh, 45 great um, and now what we are planning to do is we use the eyedrop tool oh sorry the eyedrop tool and we just sample uh, let's sample the snow down here and right here this is the color of the snow it's a whitish bluish kind of uh, color but because we um, protect this now because we protect in the foreground color and this is the foreground color this means that whatever we are erasing we are not erasing that color the tolerance is 45 um, we can have it a bit bigger and there we go just erase, 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 erase. Ta da! And we're done. Now, did we manage to do a good job? Let's see. Oh, and something else that's really uh, uh, what I forgot to mention is normally Photoshop doesn't allow you to work in a background however of course this is the background eraser tool so to make it possible to work in this um, as soon as you start erasing uh, Photoshop is gonna change the background into a layer and that way you will be able to work in it anyway just so you know uh, we have the layer too we make it orange and we drag it through below and there you have it um, as you see the branches are still selected uh, or are still in there and also the white of the snow is you can see the mountains here below uh, because the tolerance was on 45 you still this is not really totally cleared here but what well, you can adjust that later on you can adjust whatever you want now actually you just do the same as we did before and uh, maybe try another tolerance to erase this as well and um, I would say 
uh, try this, uh, use it on some images you have, just um, get the grip, as you can see it's not that hard, uh, the trick is maybe the tolerance, and I hope it works out fine, and if you have any questions just let me know, uh, post a comment, and if you like the tutorial, of course, I would be very grateful for a like. Okay, see you in the next tutorial.